Okie dokie. Oh, this here is going to be my uh, Bizarro fight. Uh, my first one out of three. And this time I'm fighting him on my duelist. He's a solo cell phone, hardcore. But otherwise he has pretty much the same setup as my Ranger does. Single target, Viper Strike. AoE ability, Frost Blades. His Leap Slam, and um, let, me, uh, let me show you what these I have. Viper Strike, his Life Leech. Multi Strike. And uh, Physical Damage Support. Frost Blades. Has a chance to bleed. Life gain on hit. And Ancestor's Call. And then I have a Decoy Totem. Decoy Totem, which uh, has increased duration. It's up longer. And Vulnerability. But uh, un unlike my Ranger, this one here I gotta cast manually. And both of these have uh, increased duration, though, so... Um, probably better if I looked on here. Yep. So 13 and a half seconds. That one there lasts 12 seconds. And then I got Summon Stone Golem gives me a buddy. Oh, and then Leap Slam has faster attacks. My Aura Vitality gives me life regen. And then I got Vengeance and Riposte, I believe. Both of them have poison support and a uh, chance to bleed also. Stone Golem, uh, faster attacks, and poison support, so. Oh, wish me luck, and let's hope my computer doesn't restart or the game don't crash. Uh, I'm guessing this is the curse one. No quarter. This is my first time seeing these. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Well, that's the fight. Okay, here's um, here's fight number two of three. Uh, fighting the Zaro. And kind of a recap. Fighting about my Ranger. Uh, Viper Strike. Frost Blades. Leap Slam. Decoy Totem, uh, Vulnerability, and then Stone Golem. Um, I don't... And on the previous fight, he uh, summoned uh, three statues to help him. I don't know what they do or anything, but... I'm gonna look over here. It's like completely empty, so I don't know what they're all about. But if anything, I'll probably find out soon enough. Here we go, and let's hope my comp don't crash, and let's hope the game don't crash. The Emperor beckons, and the world I had a portal shredder too, but uh, I dropped it. Having extra ads is actually a good thing. Just well, no. Well, that's two down. One more to go. Alrighty. Oh, here's a uh, here's a Zaro. Uh, fight three of three, the last fight. And 
and taking them on on Mr. Duelist here. Who's got Viper Strike, Frost Blades, Leap Slam, Decoy Totem, Vulnerability, and then Summon Stone Golem, and as far as Cesaro goes, uh, I think it was on the first fight, he had uh, three little statues that were helping him out in some way. I don't know what they do, but they're they don't exist here, and then, um, probably my favorite buff is, uh, this here, Portals, uh, he summons extra mages to help him out, which means, uh, more, more flash charges and more life gain on hit for me, so. Okay. And I forgot to mention, I also forgot to mention, he's, uh, solo cell phone hardcore. If he dies here, I'm not going to delete him. I'm just going to simply move him, move him to softcore. Um, I think I stated earlier, or in case I didn't already, if he if he dies, he's going to softcore. Because uh, I don't want to have to go through the Act 1 all over again. I don't want to have to start all over. So I'm just going to shift him over. Let's hope my computer doesn't restart or the game don't crash. A throne is the most devious trap. two extra keys out of that. I'm guessing, uh... I think that's what it was. The first battle, those three statues, they, um, they, uh, charge him with buffs. He's supposed to have, he's supposed to be fully charged. Like, I think it's like ten stacks, I think it is. He has to be fully charged in order for that to kick in. So that's why I'm only getting two treasure keys and not three. So. But, well, that'll do it. And that'll do it for the Labyrinth. So, not a... Not a collect these and then reap all the spoils.